Hello everyone. In today's video, I am going to speak about toxic constituents that are present in pulses. This toxic constituent, when we consume pulses in excess, they have an adverse effect on our health. The pulses and legumes, they are called as poor man's meat because they contain a very good amount of protein, carbohydrate, essential fat, plenty of phytochemicals and complex polysaccharide that is fiber which are much essential for well-being. At the same time, some pulses and legumes, they contain toxic constraints that affect our body and they produce adverse effects. Sometimes they are lethal to, they cause lethal effects. Toxic in pulses and legumes, they include inhibitors of enzyme trypsin, chymotrypsin and amylase. And the second include heme agglutinin, which obstructs the absorption of products of digestion in the gut. And in addition, legumes, they contain goitrogen, a toxic saponin, cyanogenic glycosides, and alkaloids. All these have adverse effects when they are consumed in large amounts. The inhibitor of trypsin is a protein found in number of pulses. This inhibitor suppresses the re release of amino acids and thus does not make for the normal growth of normal growth when we consume these pulses. Next, heme agglutinin. These are also proteins. They combine with products of digestion and they impair the efficiency of absorption of the digested products. Cyanogenic glycoside, they are present in seeds. They cause cyanide poisoning. On hydrolysis of the glycoside by the enzyme glucosidase, hydrogen cyanide is liberated and this has a poisoning effect. However, a cyanide content in the range of 10 to 20 milligram per 100 gram of pulse is considered safe. Saponins. They are a group of natural products possessing the property of producing lather on foam when shaken with water. These are glycosides of high molecular weight. Saponins have been reported in soya bean, swat bean and jack bean. Finally, comes the goitrogen. These goitrogens are substances that affect the growth of thyroid glands. Some compounds found in the pulse seeds, they help in the absorption of iodine from the food, thus causing iodine deficiency. In the when foods containing this uh, substance are consumed in large amount, they have a considerable effect on the growth. Now, let us discuss about latherism, a disorder that is caused due to excess consumption of latherous sativa, that is Kayseri dal. Latherism is a paralytic disease affecting the lower limb. The incidence of the disease is higher in males than females and the recovery from the condition does not usually occur. The disease has been known since early times and there is reference to it in early Indian medical writing. People, due to insecure food insecurity, like whatever they get, like if they find difficult to get rice, they consume pulses that is available in abundance in their area. So when this uh, Kesari dal is consumed in excess for a long period of time, it causes latherism. And the neurotoxin that is present in the Kesari dal is beta N oxalyl L alpha B diamino propionic acid. In short form, we call this toxin as BOAA. This toxin can be removed by steeping or boil boiling the Kesari dal. In this picture, this is the, the person who is affected by consuming Kesari dal. So this is the initial stage 
and he's not able to walk and he's helping uh, sticks to walk. Whereas in the uh, next stages, when he's continuously consuming this uh, kesari dal without its side effects, he becomes crippled. And finally, he is not able to uh, walk. He becomes uh, crippled and becomes uh, severely affected. Next is the favism that is due to the consumption of feva bean. Favism is hemolytic anemia. That is the destruction of the RBC cells by the toxin present in feva bean. This disease is almost entirely confined to persons living in the Mediterranean basin and is of Mediterranean origin. So this feva bean is native to Mediterranean region and it severely affects the persons living in Mediterranean area. In severe cases of favism, death may occur between 24 to 48 hours of the onset of the attack. So the side effect of favism is very fast. That is within one or two days, the effect is known. Whereas in case of lacerism, the side effect uh, occurs only when the bean is eaten for a very long time in excess. Now here in this picture, you can see the feva bean, uh, the protein present in the feva bean. It acts, reacts with the red blood cell and causes the red destruction of the red blood cell. As a result, the person, they are severely affected. And this is a picture of feva bean. And these beans, they contain toxins like bisin, covisin, dihydroxyphenylalanine. That is dopa. So these are the toxic substances present in the feva bean. Favism occurs on ingestion of foodstuffs containing dopa. Within 6 to 24 hours of the feva bean meal, the reaction manifests itself with the person falling down. He faints, becomes pale. Jaundice occurs due to the destruction of hemolytic cells and also at the same time passes dark using. These signs and symptoms Results from the destruction of red blood cells triggered by certain glucosides present at high concentration in feva bean. And finally, let us see about the effect of soya bean isoflavins on thyroid function. There are many bioactive soya bean components that are essential for our well-being. At the same time, Focus has been thrown on isoflavones that has an adverse effect on the body. This isoflavone it contains a substance called genstein that severely affects the reproductive uh, organ of the females. This genstein it affects the thyroid function, interferes with the absorption of synthetic thyroid hormone. So persons who consume the soya bean uh, in, la in excessive amount and uh, regularly, they can uh, this uh, thyroid disorder. Like uh, how to uh, reduce the amount of toxins in, in, in this uh, pulses and legumes. The easy way is to soak the pulses in water overnight, discard the water, and use it. Second one is roasting so that some amount of toxin is inactivated. Third one is steaming, cooking, and also removing the outer coat reduces the uh, toxins to some extent. Thank you for watching.